Jayco Eagle 330 RSTS rear sofa triple slide. Gorgeous travel trailer here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, 9,640 pounds. Not an ultralight. Not even attempted to be an ultralight. This is uh, quite literally a flat deck fifth wheel. Um, Eagle is one of the very most popular fifth wheels on the, on the market. And what's really awesome is really for the first time ever, the Eagle trailer perfectly mirrors the Eagle fifth wheel. It is, like I said, just a flat deck fifth wheel built to the same specs as the big Eagle fifth wheel. Um, you've got the same insulation package, zero to 100 degree rated, so I suppose you could call that four seasons. That kind of seems to be the going definition of things, though I see manufacturers try to abuse that. Anyway, um, beautiful, beautiful piece here. There's a lot going on. There's far more going on than I can hit on in just a, a walk around video tour like this. This is here to give you an idea of this beast and to see if it's something that you know you might like to make more of a permanent addition to your uh, family. Um, if at any point you're curious about things like links and tank capacities and, and price tags and easy but important answers, I've got a link for you in the video description for especially you folks just on YouTube or on your phones or at home or whatever. Check for price and availability. One click away from answering a lot of easy but important questions like that. Now, this is a late 2017 edition. This is a mid-season updated thing. This is different from the uh, initial 2017's Jayco was releasing in June. And I am so glad for it. What they did here is phenomenal. Starts up front with this full profile cap. Starts at the roof line, goes all the way down below the skirting because the floor actually stops here, but the cap goes down like another foot. It actually wraps all the way around the skirt. And it is beautiful. It's all painted. And I don't know what color you call this because it's not tan, it's not gray. I call it grayish because it's sort of in between. And you can look that up in a definitionary, by the way. <laughs> but they've done some things here that are absolutely, what I like about it, it's sort of whatever color you want it to be because it doesn't actually seem to match up with anything I've seen before. I've had people say, I, I want to look at that gray one or I want to look at that taupe one. It's just whatever color you want to call it. I don't know, a pewter-ish? Um, smart attention to detail here, something that impressed me. This is a full bedroom slide out with a full front uh, wardrobe, just like a fifth wheel but they gave you travel trailer pass-through storage. Most of the time, when you get a bedroom slide and a travel trailer, you don't get that. You only get this pocket under the bed. You've got both. They gave you both here. Now, let's look at skins. This has a full high gloss luxury fifth wheel skin here on a travel trailer. It has, like I said uh, earlier, the exact same fifth wheel insulation package, zero to 100 degree rated, fully enclosed, forced air heated, insulated, insulated slides, insulated roof, bigger furnace, zero to 100 degree rated. And Jayco actually publishes their cold camp testing data. They uh, put these things in a chamber for 24 hours at zero degrees and then at 100 degrees. And they set the thermostat to 70. And they say, let's see what happens. And they put instrumentation all over the RV. Jayco was one of the, well, they were the literally the very first to publish the findings of their testing. Um, and they're still among the very highest rated in both hot and cold camp scenarios. You want to walk on the roof, you can walk on the roof. Again, this thing is built exactly like a fifth wheel. All LED lights inside and out, just like it's Eagle fifth wheel, um, I don't know, sister? I don't even want to say big brother because they're equipped the same. We've got a two inch receiver hitch on the back here. So if you want to add bike racks and things like that, you're all set for it. Now, uh, we didn't seem to add a, a rear bumper grill to this one, but they still, as a matter of happenstance, run the plumbing line, the, the propane line to the back bumper. So if you want to add a grill out here, you can do that. No big deal. All the windows open for ventilation, including what I call the toothpick windows next to the sofa. That's an attention to detail factor left out by most brands. Um, we've got uh, vacuum laminated, uh, aluminum framed uh, rear wall, side walls, slide walls, slide out. We have uh, plywood decked constructed floor and roof. It is an absolute fantastic way to put an RV together that gives you the highest levels of strength and quality longevity. If you're looking for an RV to own for two years, you should start watching another video. If you're looking for the last RV you ever want to own, like something you could use as a replacement for a house or a cabin, you are absolutely on the right track. Um, travel trailers, for instance, don't usually have 
luxury fifth wheel rubber shock dampening suspension systems for towing purposes. I expect this RV is not going to be towed a lot. I expect this RV is going to be parked at a permanent site more often than not. Um, uh, you know, little detail stuff too, like they put the speakers down low in the skirt on it, Jacob, which is so smart because one, they don't have to drill a hole through a laminated wall, which is a potential water penetration point. Ideally, that's not going to happen, but in theory, it's there, and I, it, it has happened in the past. Instead, they put it down here. Now, you can hear it down here. When the speakers are up top, you can't hear them unless you crank them up so loud the neighbors don't like you. Um, as we step inside, the interior continues to not disappoint. And this is one of the areas where they made some dramatic updates compared to the early 17 season. The, uh, a defining quality, a huge factor in something that they did here that is so easily overlooked is they made this RV bigger. They just literally made it bigger. It is taller than it used to be. The walls used to be six foot six inches tall. And there's nothing wrong with that. And they used to have that six inch barreled ceiling that you saw everybody have. The problem with that is the barreled ceiling makes the RV look bigger, and it's a less expensive way to make it look bigger, but it doesn't actually give you taller slide outs because the walls are still the same size. Why does that matter? Well, if the slides are taller, you can now have the big fifth wheel refrigerators in an Eagle trailer that were just physically, literally not possible before. Anything you can put in a big fifth wheel, you can put in this RV because they went to six foot nine inch walls. Actually, that. I'm wondering if that's not like a set. I don't know. That might be taller still. Anyway, uh, it's at least 6'9". I don't think it's 7 foot. Maybe they did. Don't believe so. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm just... I'm a little medicated from a head cold right now, so my depth perception is not the best, so pardon me. Anyway, my point is they went taller walls for taller slides. That also meant taller shower. And there's... And, you know, in a bunk model, taller bunks. There's, there's a lot of benefits that go to it. Now, just like a fifth wheel, we have a travel trailer here with double bank LED lighting and whisper quiet AC system. You see your air intakes right here. Um, Jayco's uh, helix ducted air systems are also more efficient. They, they move air more quickly. So that doesn't mean it gets colder. It means it'll get down to temp faster and maintain it more easily. It's very cool that way. A uh, little attention to detail stuff too. Pendant lights like these, not normal ceiling lights, but accent pendant lights. In the RV business, you'll get a lot of LED lights here but not here. Eagle is consistent LEDs everywhere all the way through. We've got Corian, true solid surface Corian countertops here. Um, not usually found in a travel trailer. Again, luxury fifth wheel features. Uh, things like residential soft closed drawers have come into this update. Things, you know, you don't usually find that stuff in a travel trailer. Um, this is an awesome floor plan. It's super popular in fifth wheels. You've got the dual opposing slide outs and we've got the uh, your, your th either theater seating or recliners. Remember that the one we have in this video could be different from what's in stock. There are different furniture arrangements you can put into this. So if you like the layout of this RV, but you want a different dinette or you want a different chair, that stuff exists and we might actually have it. All you got to do is give us a call or click the link I leave for you in the video description. So we've got our Primary, comfy, cushy recliner seating directly across from the entertainment center. Now, uh, we have them ship the TVs loose and we store them away so that, uh, you know, they don't go walking down the highway. But something I want to point out here is that they actually put this big heavy-duty swing arm on their TV. So that if you want to just kind of sit here on the rear sofa and just sort of prop your leg up and relax a little bit, you know, put your arm up here and just sort of chill for a while you can do that. You, there's no bad seat in this house. Or if you want to sit over here by the dinette, it's breakfast time or it's dinner time, but you, you want to watch a movie or the news or something, turn the TV that way. There's no bad spot. Plus, two things. When the TV can swing out, you can get to the plugs in the back of it. Have you ever tried to get to the plugs on a flat-mounted flat screen? It, it's really tough. It's not fun. Um, and we've now got storage behind the TV that wouldn't have been there otherwise. You'll also notice all overhead doors are metallic strutted. There's just, it's a, it's a better quality component. It's nicer materials that go into this, like the all hardwood luxury fifth wheel fascia. I mean, again, you're seeing luxury fifth wheel features in a, a trailer. Now it's not a small trailer by any means, but it's, it's a beast. Uh, electric space heating fireplace, so you don't have to burn up your propane for supplementary heat. Um, if it's summertime and you just want the look of a log cabin, you can turn that on just for visuals, by the way. It doesn't have to be a heater. 
Um, hide a bed rear sofa, trifold memory foam hide a bed sofa. So if you, the grandkids are coming over and uh, you know you don't want a bunkhouse for an occasional guest, this is how you accomplish that right there. Or I've seen people where one member of the household may have sleep apnea and uh, we have a snoring issue and the couple has trouble sleeping together. <laughs> Well, maybe one of you sleeps back here and, you know, you've got the giant flat screen to keep you company at night. All kinds of good stuff can happen. And look at the size of the sliding panel on this rear window. You want maximum airflow? Partner, you got it right here. Or not sliding panel, it's a frameless panel, but I mean airflow panel, huge. So uh, they've got their gorgeous Thomas Paine recliners here. And again, there's different furniture arrangements. There's theater options. Um, there's a, a freestanding dinette option. Uh, this is an interesting floor plan because I, I've seen people want it equipped in different ways. We will often have two or three of these in stock with different equipment packages. So uh, again, we've probably got one that's going to fit you well. The kitchen here though. OMG, that kitchen though is absolutely fantastic. We're going to start over here in what is an often overlooked area like the, the little entry hutch. They changed this from the early season models. This used to be Nothing. It was wide open with a little boot bench or something down here, which in a bunkhouse model made sense. But in a couple's coach, it didn't quite cut the mustard. So what they did is they added that overhead storage. You still have a nice hutch over there. And you notice if you look real close, there's all kinds of plugs and for chargers and stuff. Great storage down here for big, awkward stuff. Now right here, we either have a mega pantry or... You can flip this up and lock it out of the way with this little rat lock right here and create a giant entry coat closet. Now you may have immediately noticed the bigger refrigerator. We figured, um, why uh, have them build an RV that can accept bigger refrigerators without putting in the biggest possible refrigerator we could? Um, and we specifically went with the RV gas electric fridge versus the residential electric only fridge. The reason being, this is still a travel trailer. It's not a parked model. And we have seen uh, a less than awesome service, or an okay, not a bad, but an only an okay service record from electric refrigerators that are towed. They are still a residential fridge. They're not made to be towed. They're, they're not built for shock absorption. This is. This was built to be put in this RV. We're not jamming a square peg through a round hole. Um, <clears throat> also, watch this. The light's not on, and as soon as you open up, ah, the light kicks on because there's little optic sensors up here that detect when there's motion. So that light is on when you need it, off when you don't. If your hands are full or, uh, you know, you reach in, you grab something, your hands are full, you don't have an open hand to flip the light switch off. You don't have to worry about it now. It's just like a refrigerator. And this is all adjustable. You create whatever storage scenario you need here. I showed you the soft closed drawers here. I do want to point out the extra little appliance corner that we have right here because that's perfect. By extending this over, they created a cabinet, appliance space, and four drawers here this floor plan otherwise would not have. Under the island, it's nothing but storage, and they even include a very generously sized wastebasket for you. Um, and I like, too, that they offset the sink. They didn't centralize the sink. That allowed them to gain an extra drawer and a dedicated good prep space here. Um, Moving onward to the bathroom. We're going longer than I intended, but there's a lot to cover in here. This is interesting. This is something I don't talk about a lot. Like, uh, this is a wireless remote control. It can operate your, um, you know, your slide outs, your awnings, all kinds of stuff. And mostly, it, I always kind of thought it like a gimmick feature. But then I went, wait a minute. If I'm standing here and I want to close that bedroom slide, the door should be shut when I do that. How do I make sure that slide out is unobstructed if I'm alone. And I realized I could grab this, I could walk in here, and I could watch this slide out closed with a remote control to make sure I don't break that drawer because, oops, I left it open. You know, you can go through and check things first, but it's it, there's just something to be said for that extra layer of protection. Dual entry bathroom, and it's right next to the entry door. So if you are traveling or you're just camping and you wanna hop in and use the bathroom real quick, bang, right there, you don't have to trek through the whole trailer. Also, giant, giant luxury fifth wheel shower action happening here. And you see that, that seat area in the corner, uh, very nice if you need to, to sit to bathe. The thing's so big, I can't even get it all in the frame at one time. And again, extra tall RV means extra tall headroom. On my toes, I can't touch the ceiling, and I don't need to be uh, next to the skylight to do that. 
Here's something very cool. The little blue LED night light right there. Not terribly impressive on its own, but you turn all the other lights off, if it's dark, that nice blue LED against this white shower backer will make this whole bathroom just glow a little bit so that you can get in here at night and see without disturbing the people here in the bed. Um, also, very nice space here in the bathroom. Great cabinet space going on. They also have, if you look closely, that mirror is a backlit indirect mirror. So if you're like me in the morning, I'm like, I don't, ugh, I don't wake up well. Well, this little backlit mirror right here, it's making it so that I'm not getting directly bombarded by these overhead lights. So I'll make it, you know, I can get through it without wanting to just rage and, 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 and destroy things like Frankenstein. I, I don't do well in the mornings. <laughs> you would think I was always hangry in the mornings. So 60 by 80, Simmons Beauty Sleep, true queen here. However, you do have the ability to go to a king. There's a very good reason we did not put a king bed in this specific model. Because Eagle does an amazing job of giving you side stands that a CPAP machine can actually sit on with power outlets that a CPAP machine can actually reach. That is not a common thing in travel trailer design. We did not want to sacrifice that given the commonality of CPAP machines. A lot of people have breathing issues and it goes more than just sleep apnea. Doctors are now prescribing those things for all sorts of afflictions and they work well. By the way, this is a travel trailer that is uh, uh, prepped and ready for a stackable washer and dryer. Very cool. Um, now remember, there's pass-through storage all the way under this right here. So that means now if you put a stackable in there, I'd have to do some measuring, I think. I'm telling you what I think, not what I know, so please be careful here, double check. I think you can still fit a stackable in here without sacrificing pass-through storage. I don't think you have to give that up. Double check me though, please. I don't, I, I prefer to tell people what I know, but again, this product is new and has been updated, and that's a question I didn't think to ask until I looked at it just now. So uh, there, you, you know, there's always something more to learn on these things. Great dresser space, TV hookups above the window, cross breeze window here and two in the headboard, and this is a full depth uh, bed slide. And you can tell because one, the, the, the window here is really, really big, and two, look at all the walkthrough space I have with the drawers open. It's still big. So, I think that kind of covers this one in a nutshell here. Gorgeous, gorgeous coach. If you're looking for the last RV you're ever going to own, this is definitely the, uh, you're, you're on the right track here. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.